Hi everyone. Well, I decided to make a goat milk and green tea soap. Uh, green tea and peppermint, I should say so, with goat milk. Uh, right here I have all my hard oils. I have my shea butter. No, I don't. <laughs> I have my shea butter separated. I have my coconut oil. I have a little bit of vegetable shortening in here and cocoa butter. Here I have my lye solution. Now this lye solution, I have mixed it's just half of my total liquids. I've used uh, salt water. And this is made with Himalayan sea salt. Uh, pink salt, I should say. Um, and I've added my lye to it. And I'm going to use the heat transfer process to melt my hard oils. So I'm going to gently pour this into my hard oils here. There we go. So I've got the lye now incorporated, or not incorporated, but poured in. And you'll see how quickly the heat from that lye water starts to melt the oils. I found this on YouTube, someone else doing this, and I thought, wow, what a great idea. I don't have to mess up a pan <laughs> to melt my oils prior. Let the lye solution melt your oils. And what's great about it? The oils are cold, okay? Adding the lye water, because I've seen some people suggest, oh, well, that light water will destroy the properties of your cocoa butter. Well, actually, this is such a gradual process of heat. Let me show you. Let me get my thermometer here and just take a snapshot. And you'll see that it's only at 92 degrees. I don't hope you can see that. So it's not that hot. I didn't put it in at a very high temperature. I mixed up my water and my lye, and I let it cool down before adding it to my hard oils. So I was wise enough to do that. <laughs> so there is no harm being done to the natural property of the cocoa butter or the coconut oil. It's just a very nice slow melt, and I'm stirring it just to keep it going because as it moves, it melts a little faster. You can see those little cocoa butter chips in there just floating around. Now, in addition, over here I have my liquid oils. And you may be wondering, well, what is that? Why is it so dark? Oh, I need to turn on more light. I apologize. There we go. Not sure what I was thinking there. I have other light here and it has gone, there it goes, it's gone flaky on me. There we go. In here I have, in these oils, I have tea, green tea, that's what's floating on top, peppermint leaves, because I want this to be a peppermint tea, peppermint green tea. And I've mixed that in with my olive oil, with my avocado oil, my castor oil, and my meadow foam oil. So I have those separated here for my solid oils, because I wanted to just get these melted first. Then I'll incorporate the softer oils and then my goat milk here, which is thawing here. It's mostly thawed. There's still a few little chunks of ice in there. So I've got about 16 ounces of lye water here and about 16, not about, I have 16 ounces of lye water and 16 ounces of goat's milk. So I just split that in half. Now, I could have used all goat's milk, absolutely. But I would have to use a different process because I certainly don't want to, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the method. I've used it myself. Matter of fact, I think I have a video of me doing it. The process of melting the frozen goat's milk with the lye itself. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I'm just, 
and it's not out of anything other than ignorance. I'm going to be very honest with you. I can admit where my knowledge is lacking. And so I suggest you do your own research. But my concern is, it is a milk with fats and all sorts of wonderful benefits. And it, I just don't know if applying the lye directly to milk, because obviously there can be a color change. I've been very fortunate because I put it in a double ice bath when I'm adding the lye to it in the past. Um, but I just, I feel better adding it to the cooler oils. So after all of these oils are melted, then I'll mix this with the liquid oils, and then I'll add in the goat's milk, and then I will stick blend it, and that's pretty much it. This is not a complicated recipe. I'll put the full recipe in the description. Uh, I use, uh, I can tell you this, I use uh, six bags of green tea. I just tear open the little bags and put that in. And I'm using six of those. And boy, the fragrance that gives. Just that smell of that green tea is just such a beautiful, rich, green, fresh, refreshing smell. And then with the peppermint leaf in it too, it's just wonderful. It's You want to drink it, but don't, of course. <laughs> Um, but I will tell you that after I'm done here, I'm going to go have a cup of green tea with peppermint. So, <laughs> all right. So most of this is melted here. So I'm just going to keep stirring until it's all, until all these individual uh, pieces are melted. So I'll come back in just a minute once um, these were completely melted and then we'll mix up our oils and add the goat's milk. Okay, so I did move this to a larger container here because I realized that with all of this oil it's just going to take a larger container. So I've got it mostly all melted. There's still one little booger there. <laughs> I think I got it there. Okay, so now I'm going to add in these, which are my uh, liquid oils and the additives, which I've added, which are, of course, as I said, the green tea and peppermint leaf, which is all settled in the bottom, so I'll stir that a little bit. So make sure all of that makes it in there. Okay. Oops. Okay, I think I've got the vast majority of that in. Right. So we're about ready here to get a move on. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to mix this just a bit.
love soap when it's like this <laughs> in many ways it just looks so uh, inviting doesn't it I mean it's just so thick and luscious and this has all that goodness and boy you can smell those herbs I tell you I just love that smell and I always forget to tell you one ingredient at least one this also has uh, a little bit of chamomile powder in it. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. Uh, what did I put in it? About a quarter of a cup of chamomile powder was in those oils. Okay, good, good. All right, let me get this in the mold. That's thick. Now one point I'll make about this, because this is a goat's milk soap, I will not be bringing this to gel. As a matter of fact, this will go in the fridge. Already cleared a shelf for it. Here I've got multiple things going here in my hands, so I'm going to pound this down real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to get pound down some of those uh, some of those uh, bubbles that might be in there. I did to do a larger batch of this. This is uh, it's just a soap that I think is a favorite of a lot of people. Uh, it's very simple. It doesn't have any fragrances in it, other than those that come, that are inherent to the herbs that are in it. And of course it has the goat's milk and the oatmeal, which just makes it just a, a really luxurious uh, and feel-good soap. <laughs> so this is it. Um, now, I'm going to let it sit up a bit, and then I will texture the top a little bit. So I did it again. I forgot to turn the camera back on. I just, but all I did was took a spoon, as, which I'm not all that good at, as you all know, touched up the tops and put the divider in. So, <laughs> sorry, I uh, messed that up. Okay, so now, guess what? I can't leave good enough long. So... Just a little on top. I'm not going over the top with these. Just wanted a little something extra. Aren't we soap or something, right? I want to keep it simple. Add five more ingredients. We go, oh, nope, that's not right yet. Okay, I'll add a little more. Maybe I'm speaking for others. I shouldn't. That's my pro part of my problem, though, is I just don't know when to stop sometimes. That one needs a little more. Okay, so I'm just holding it up kind of high and dropping a bit more on <laughs> Just want it nicely distributed. One more and I'll be done. He says, right. Okay, done. All right, I promise no rose petals, no. <laughs> No chamomile flowers, I'm done. <laughs>
So this will sit up overnight in the fridge. I'll take it out tomorrow and voila, voila. I'll have 18 lovely bars of delicious goat's milk soap. So hold on for those pictures. All right, so these are goat milk. Uh, these are the green uh, goat milk, green tea, and let me turn on a light. I don't know how I keep forgetting the light. There we go. The green tea uh, and mint goat milk soap. These just came out great. I wish you could see the three dimensionality of them. I mean, it looks like um, they're translucent. It's really, these really came out nice. I'm very pleased with them. Now you'll notice, and this is always the case with a lot of herbaceous, well, with herbs that we put in, whether it be the tea or mint or various different things, that they can turn sort of a brown rust color in the soap but it doesn't change their properties. They still feel great. They make a nice exfoliant and the smell. Just the tea and the uh, mint just gives them such a fantastic um, smell. So anyway, they all are, these are pretty much the same, but just wanted you to see how they came out. They're very nice. I'm really looking forward to using these. So off to the curing rack they go. Thanks everyone and have a great day and I hope to see you back soon.